Hi, welcome to my system. We are working on Arch Merged. We have installed GNOME and we're working on this system now. The video is going to be about a system that's gonna, that was on Google Plus and I thought, hey, don't know this one, Pop OS is it called? And it's from uh, a company who sells also desktops and laptops and all that. And it's their uh, operating system and it is GNOME. So it's a good thing for me to check out what other people do with GNOME. And um, well, we're going to set it up and try it out and see if the Sardi and the Surfer icons are okay. So what we do, we press Super F7. It's going to load up VirtualBox. Nothing has been created, this is a new machine. So I'm gonna say Pop OS, it's Linux. And you can say it's Arch Linux 64, or you can say it's Debian 64. Not really sure what it is, so I'm gonna just say other Linux 64, which is also good. So after 16 uh, gigabytes, uh, probably five or six will do. And I'm gonna give enough. I mean, enough is around 20, 25, is good for any operating system. Then we're going to create it, then the settings, go back in there. If you want to share clipboard and so on, have never tried it, uh, if you can do that, but here are the settings. And the system, we have the processor, we have eight processors, so I'm gonna give 50-50. Display, 50-50. Enable 3D, storage, okay, done. So when you start up, you have this window, which I don't really like, but if you click on details, then something becomes, becomes more obvious what all the settings are. So we need to have a ID secondary master, we need to be have an optical drive which is, which is now empty. So I downloaded this Pop OS AMD 64 Intel 58, there's also an Intel version one. So um, being on VirtualBox I do think I've made the proper choice, we'll see in a bit. So we start, you'll sometimes see my system change, uh, well, well, flash a little bit, so it's, it's GNOME. It has extensions activated, so it might be uh, that we sometimes lose some images because of the extensions. So some of the extensions seem to work against each other. Let's anyway see if we can maximize this one already. Oh, nice, that's good. And then view full screen mode. No, don't want that. So remember, host, host is control right, right control with an F for full screen, and switch. Great. So this looks awesome. There's a GNOME. These are all the applications, which is not much. But it's very, very basic. They've chosen for Jiri, which is also a very nice way to uh, get your mails in, but it has no calendar, don't think it has. Gboard, yes, Office, what Office is it? Of course, LibreOffice and the Pop Shop. Curious to see what it is. So anyway, we're going to install it. So escape, escape, here is a button at the top. And it's Calamaris we're using. So uh, like in Arch Merch, there's a way to, an easy way to have a graphical interface Say, look, install it, but I should go back because my keyboard is Belgian. So I'm gonna scroll to Belgian, which is Azerty, otherwise, I can't do a lot. Erase disk install, encrypted LVM, something else. So that's the normal uh, pop up. The design has changed, which is okay, of course. Uh, you're free to change with CSS and all that. So Pop OS is designed for people who use a computer to create, where it's complicated, professional grades, you know, and the other face, okay. All right. So some communication do like the way this looks with the shadow and all that. It's nice. Might be just a picture, which we probably can figure out somewhere. I hope we can see maybe where it is. It's not alphabetically, it seems. It is alphabetical. Why is Network Manager then on top? Good question. While it's installing, I'm just going to look around at uh, some files and folders. Mm. 
and maybe the POP pop OS. GDM3, custom configuration file. Automatic login enabled is true if you want that. Seventeen ten, so we are actually working with Ubuntu. Distribution seventeen ten, and the description is Artvark, which is by the way a Dutch word, so it's well South African, but very similar to Dutch Artvarken or Artvark. So it's Debian. We've learned something more, and we can check out what's else is in here there is a scale etc scale you remember in arch merge we have all our configurations in there that's where we update your dot config files your dot local files so the hidden files where all the theming and the tweaking is I had hoped I would find somewhere a reference to Calamares. Might still be somewhere else. Uh, let me think. Okay, has finished. Continue testing. Share. It's a bit strange how he organizes the folder G, 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 etc., X, and then A, and then everything is alphabetically again. Anyway, we should not wait uh, before we should reboot. So, live session, log out, no, this one, restart. Stop the GNOME display manager, it says here. Squash FS ever, some freezing execution. That does not sound good, but we're gonna, we're on a virtual box, so we do not care. We can go in here and always say, kill it, and say, power off, okay. And now we're going to power up again. So, virtual box start. Oh, I forgot to do something. Power off again. I'm gonna kill this one, the optical drive. So this one is out, that's good. Empty, and then we can start up. And control F to get already a full screen so that the display manager or the software knows, hey, I can use 1920 on 1080 pixels. Bienvenue. Oh no, I'm not speaking French, my dear. I'm speaking ah, oh, bienvenudo, bienvenudo. All right, next. Um, okay, I thought I did that, so that's okay. Belgian, yeah, keep going. Privacy, location, services is okay for me. Time zone, Belgian, right. Next, connect. No, not to do that. Skip. About you. Hi, my name is Eric. Next. Okay, so it's not a proper Calamares at all, probably. It's gonna be something else, how they install everything, because I have not seen this. So, we need to set it after the installation. Calamares does it before. So, fine, it must be something else. Should investigate what it is. Anyway, we are here to figure out and to see if the savvy icons are on good, but Seeing that there are not so many applications on it, um, I hope everything is okay, but we're not sure. So, Sabdi icons are on. Get the files at SourceForge. Where did I put it again? Looking to download the icons. Let's try some stuff. So this is half of the place. This is a quarter. No, it's, it's really like GNOME. GNOME divides by halves of the screen, not by quarters. Okay, that's being downloaded. For, don't uh, forget, problems downloading. Get it from Czechia, get it from Great Britain, get it from Germany, get it from everywhere else. The closest to your site, of course. 
right mouse click extract here those are the side icons Control a Control c home Control h to have the hidden folders make a new one since it's not made dot icons and dot themes is also interesting to have your themes in there so in your own home folder you can put icons in there and the fun in that is we have scripts in Sally and you can run them and you can write and run everything you want on your system on your home folder I'm gonna see if I can change the background already the lock screen is a nice one the big friendly let's make some advertising for the guys Ta -da! right so anyway uh, icons how do we change them do we have the tweak tool there does not appear to be a tweak tool gnome tweaks okay here it is the pop-up shop let's let's take a look at the pop shop the pop shop unity tweak tool window wine tricks Window Manager Tricks, Open Box Configuration Manager, May Tweak. It's this one we need, GNOME Tweaks. And it's installing. Let's open it. So, applications, they really have their own uh, look, as you can see, which is brownish and slim. And light, I think I skipped just one here. Light, pop slim, and at white, at dark, all black. So let's keep brown for the moment. So the side icons are in here, that's good. Uh, they clash a little bit with the brown, so I'm gonna take at white, at dark. And let's see if we can change all the way so. Um, let's kill this one, that one here. You don't see the panel here. There is an extension called dash dash to something. Suspense button, pop shop details. Oh, I show workspaces. That's on. That's a smart setting here. Show icons, but put everything to off. So you can, you can do right mouse click. If you say this off, you can't do anything here anymore. That's the, the, why I say it's a smart move to do it like that. Appearance, action extensions, fonts. They've chosen for Fira Sense Semi Volt. Never heard of that. Always nice to learn some more fonts so what I was thinking and why I'm looking now is for the extension to have uh, I think it's called gnome to dash or something or talk to dash uh, application which is actually here let's see if this works gnome extensions so we're gonna make tutorials for Arch Merged, how to do all this. Um, talk to dash or something, talk dash, let's see. Dash to talk, that's probably it. Uh, yep, I think so. So we have here a way to install stuff on GNOME. Click here to install browser extension. So go ahead and allow it. You get something up here add you get this foot that's there and then you just wait or do we need to reload might be possible we can't wait any longer so we reload and then this thing is gone and we should get a button there's the button so you say on how easy is that install and go to dash you see something here already something happened to your system now there are no buttons which are, is a bit strange the first time around you say, hey what's going on so how can I minimize it right mouse click minimize so now we see here these icons and it stays visible so 
I know I can do this, I can do that. So let's add some more things to it. You can always say add to favorites as well. So that's all good. Why not have the weather there? Just making sure that we see some images like so. So this is what we call our plank in Arch Merge with a plank. Why uh, add a plank if we have this here? So we will skip all the things about plank, but use this doc. Well, similar doc in GNOME. And um, well, let's try out our icons because that was the main reason why we're here. Appearance, so slightly flat. Okay, go ahead. So right mouse click. No, sorry, uh, I mean arrow down, that's what we do. And we go over all the icons and check out how they look. Those are all Sadi Mono. This is not Sadi anymore. Ubuntu Mono Dark, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, and that's end, the end of it. Let's go all the way up. Advaita, that's this one. High color, high contrast, humanity, humanity dark. And then we get the pops. So this is pop, which actually looks more like paper or papyrus icons. Pop was branding, Sardi, and here the Sardi starts again, and the Sardi flat. So how do we figure out if all the icons are okay? You go in here and here we see a, an icon that's not supposed to look like that. And we have to find what Eddie is. I've never heard about Eddie install some apps drag and drop tab files or open them to begin installation so there is an icon to be made for this uh, operating system so that's how we do it we install systems and then we say oh i'm missing an icon and we make an eddy icon which is probably going to have this debian logo uh, similar than this thing here we can also check out if everything is available at other locations, computer, and then user, share, and then start typing. It's the fastest, I hope, it, hope it's the fastest if you type right. Applications, that's the one you need. Double click, and here you see as well that this is a uh, an problem, and these guys, well, they never show up in our. Uh, in our system anyway though we don't see them in your menu so we don't care neither does these guys are important so it's really just when this one to fix we don't see that either but the study icon has been created for it but you know the software engineers they make an hard coded path and that's why we see it um, we don't think we have we can open with the text editor and then I can show you this is a hard coded path it's telling to go there, nowhere else. So whatever icon theme you choose, you always get this one. And the problem is that you need to actually tell them, look, take this as uh, image and that's it. But saving this is probably going to be a problem because we are read only here. So Sublime Text is not installed as the easiest way for us in Arch Merge to change it in these hidden, or not hidden, but protected parts of the system. So that's that for me. I've uh, looked around. I'm going to make one icon. And there is still one thing to do, Eric. Don't forget the surfing icons because that's something else I have to investigate. Surfing icons, colorful icon for Linux system. Great. Dismiss. Download the zip. Save. Do not. And OK. It's here. It's there. And you unpack it straight here. So these are all the surfing icons. These things we don't need. And these are the icons. So control X is good. Control copy is good too. We go to the icons. Control D. We have the surfing icons. Then we kill all these things. Yep, close. And then there should be in here. Now there you rem remember this was already open so give it some time so close it up open it back up then take a look and then see for the surfing icons so let's check that as well so these are the surfing icons surfing arch we 
Normally I develop them together, so whatever is missing on Saturday is probably also missing on Surfing, that way of thinking. So Surfing Papyrus Blue, maybe a good idea. Um, anyway, again, computer, user, share, applications, and you see here what's missing. But in this case it's far more difficult to see what's missing uh, because of all the variety of all the icons you have. So, here is my Eddy. This is the one I need to create and all the rest are coming for, from Surfing. So, okay, we're good. And we've um, shown you a new system. Maybe something you can enjoy. So, take a look. Alright, cheers.